int URL for HTTP request on Tamox Android. So the first thing to do is to ensure that Tamox is installed on your device. I have mine installed already, but if you don't have yours installed, go to the Play Store and look for Tamox. And this first one over here, um, I've installed mine. You can install yours if you don't have it installed, then you open. And you can see, I have my Linux running on my device. So if you are doing this for the first time, I would advise that you update the package references and also upgrade the package versions as well. So you do PKG, um, you do PKG, you can just combine, no, PKG updates. Then you can combine it with PKG, PKG upgrade just pass the white flag to save you some extra work <laughs> okay so now that you've by now i believe you have that updated um you can do something like curl version so curl is installed on my um, device at the moment okay if you run curl version and you're not getting anything what you can do is pkg you do pkg install curl then you pass the white flag okay you pass the white flag do you want to continue it will just enter the y option for you straight away so i don't have to do this but you you might have to do this if you don't have it installed already on your device so moving on i'll just clear this then after clearing this um let, let's run a simple um a, a basic get request okay a basic get request so by default when you want to use the curl command by default you're going to be launching a get request just like your web browser by default the request if you don't specify the type it is going to be taking it as a get request so for this one i can just do url then url let me paste my dummy json i copied it before now so this is the endpoint https dot dot slash slash you can just check it online dummy json dot com slash products so i can just um okay let me run this make sure you're connected to the internet you see all this data that is being sent over api see how messy it is just see how messy it is so let me clear my terminal first because this is overwhelming but one other thing i can do is to just request for um the products with the id of one okay it's a dummy api so they have all this data basically you're emulating a live server so let me do slash one and you see the data for just the product with slash one you can see the title the id the description